In this video we're going to be talking about looking at the uh, the live image from the camera as well as dealing with the, the recordings. So if you first open up the app and on this screen I've got two cameras, one of them being uh, Wi-Fi CCTV, one at the top and the bottom one being the SpyPod. So if you look at the SpyPod first, this one's um, a SIM card device and it takes a few seconds to wake up. Okay, so we're, we're looking at live image here, so if I move my hand in front of the, the camera now, you'll see. Um, as default, the audio is switched off, so if you click on that to turn it on, you'll be able to hear the audio coming through the, the camera uh, on live view. I'm going to turn it off for this video, though, or it's going to get annoying. Underneath, you have got a microphone button that you can actually talk. Again, you're going to hear feedback off that. Uh, obviously, uh, most, of most of the time with a spy camera, you're not going to want to use that facility because it just draw attention to the, the camera. We've also got uh, to the left of that, you've got an image button. One second. And you've got an image button so you can take a, a snapshot. So if you click on that, so it takes a screenshot. So if you want to take a photo of what's happening at the time, what that does, it takes a picture of the camera and saves it directly to your phone. So if you then go have a look at your files, so this is my files, you'll see it's created at the top left there one called Ubox, the name of the app. So if you clicked on that, you'll see the two images that I just saved go directly onto the, the phone. So not onto the device's memory, but directly onto the phone. Same as well, to the right hand side of the microphone, we've got um, a video camera if we click on this again it will just record from the app directly onto the phone it'll create another folder for this so if i just stop that there i go back to my files if we go back one you'll see you've got ubox images and ubox video so we've now got that um again it will just record you know, just got that video that we made but most of the time you don't need to do this um So if you, whenever you're watching the camera live, it will actually record directly to the SD card on, on the, the camera itself. So whilst, whilst we've got this open, it's actually writing this directly to the SD card so we can then pull it back any time. Um, it will also, depending on your settings, so if we go into the settings, and if we go to cloud duration, you can tell it to do 5 seconds, 10, 20 to 30 or full time recording. What that means is when someone walks past, it will record for that amount of time uh, onto, the, um, onto the card or onto the cloud, depending on what you got. I wouldn't use the full time one, that just means you record constantly until the battery goes flat. You'd only get about 25 hours from that, so that will kill the battery really quickly. But otherwise, when someone walks past, if we sit at the moment we've got cloud I've got a cloud uh, selected, but I don't have a cloud package, so it's nothing there. I can buy it if I want to, or I can go for a free trial. Uh, so, back into that. Uh, but if you have a look to the far right hand side, uh, we've got that little icon that's cloud SD card. We can flip it over to the SD card, look, and that will load up all the, um, the recordings. So anything that's activated automatically. Um, It'll wake the device up and start recording. So I think the cleaner came at this time. That was on top of the shelf, so you can't really see properly. Um, but yeah, it just it just starts recording uh, whenever anyone walks past and automatically saves that to the SD card. So at the moment, what we're doing, we're streaming it directly from the, the device. So if we click on one of these, it starts playing it back off, off the device. So you don't really need to pay for the, the cloud storage uh, however you can if you want to there are a few advantages of having the cloud if i go on to the cctv camera you'll see we've got a cloud package on this one um now the difference between the cloud and sd card if i should flip it over you'll see the times are the same so 1052 1037 1035 if you go onto the sd card you'll get 1052, 1037, 1035. These ones obviously haven't backed up as yet. But on the SD card version, it will record 
longer so it depends how long it needs to uh, depend on how much movement there is so 65 68 63 whereas on the cloud the maximum you'll get out of it is 30 seconds that's the downside to, to using that the upside is obviously if anyone damaged the camera or stole the SD card you'd have a copy of those recordings on here um, the other thing as well if you're using the spy pod which uh, actually either camera if they're running on battery you might want to limit the amount of battery you're using so whilst I'm actually logging into the camera to look at these as look at the footage when I'm playing back these off the SD card for example then it's actually streaming it from the device so that the device is awake and it's streaming the footage from the camera um, to the app and that's using battery whereas if you use the cloud so if you go back and say so cloud those have already been uploaded so we don't need to actually wake the camera up to actually view these because the this has already been loaded onto the um, onto the app or it's already loaded onto the cloud so we're not actually having to wake the device up to actually view it already so it does save some battery um, but most of the time you don't need it because you can just stream it back so then the other thing is you can make a copy of the recordings so if we wait for this to wake up again it's taking a bit longer this time okay so you can make a copy either via cloud or by the SD card and if you take it off the SD card it does take much longer um, because it's having to upload it from the device onto the server download it onto your phone and also as I said the SD card files are much longer normally uh, so it will take longer to to download onto the, the phone if you do it from the cloud it's much faster um, so I'll just wait for this one to finish it's going to take you about 30 to 60 seconds by the looks of it. The number in the centre there is just the percentage that it's completed. 80% and it I think it gives you a little pop up once it's finished as well. Let's wait for the last 10% otherwise it's the longest. There you go. That gives you a little tick look and once that's done, so that's downloaded from the SD card directly onto the phone. So when we're playing it back it's literally just playing it from the device. When we download it again in your files app, it'll have created that video for you. So it's now on your phone. So you you can download all the videos you want to keep and then um, delete them afterwards. Um, so if you want to make room on the unit, what I'm trying to say is you want to download anything that you need first before you clear the SD card. If you do it for the cloud, so let's go back onto the app again. And let's go to CCTV camera. And you'll see with the cloud it's much faster so i'll click on this it will load it from the camera if you want to download it uh, this time it's actually an image on the left hand side of the the live feed it's like a cloud with a down arrow if i press that it straight away saves and if we go now into the files we'll see that that video is now there so that's the difference. So um, generally what I'm saying is you don't need to pay for the, the cloud storage. You can have a free trial, I believe. So if we go on to this, um, you click on free trial up and you've got either have seven days or 30 days. I don't know why you choose the seven when you can have the 30 for free, but anyway, um, choose that. And then when that runs out, you'd have to pay if you wanted to carry on. So you can at least see what it's like, but really, um, unless you're doing a lot of downloads, um, or unless you're logging in a lot, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's worth going for the um, for the cloud. You might just run it off the SD card, and then once the SD card. So what it's saying is it will save the storage for seven or thirty days, depending on what you pay for. Obviously, the two free ones it doesn't matter. There will be a difference in price when you come to pay for it, and it will just rotate the uh, the recording. So after seven days, it will start writing over itself again. With the SD card, it will fill up and then it will just stop. So if we go to settings, settings, and then, like I said, you can choose the time there. 
But you've also got where it says um, storage card. Look, you've got cloud switched on, and then you've got available space. You just format the memory. So if you press format, that will clear all the recordings on on the SD card, make it available again. You can't delete individual files. You can download individual files, but you can't de delete individual. So you, you want to download the ones you want to keep and then just scrub the whole memory and start again. So that's pretty much it for watching, watching live and dealing with the recording.